right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. Happy Friday. Um, I want to talk today about fuel systems. We've touched on this before. I think that some of it bears reiterating. Maybe I haven't made a very comprehensive video, but for your basic truck style LS uh, swap, Vortec, whatever you want to call it, let's go over the different types of fuel systems you're likely to encounter and how to deal with them. And what we're looking at here on the right is a standard truck style intake with a standard return style uh, fuel system on it. So that'll be the first one we cover. That runs from about, well, it runs from 99 to 03. Um, 03 seems to be kind of weird. I've seen 03s with return lists. I've seen them without. But if it looks like this, it is a return. So this little part right here is a regulator. Oftentimes in the junkyard, you'll find them missing. I don't know what the deal is, but people go through and yank them all out for whatever reason. Probably because they're greedy and they fit in their pocket and they just want to steal some shit because that's how people are. Um, but these fit 99 to 03. They are the return style. They come with drive-by cable throttle bodies on them and a standard truck intake like we were just looking at. This, in my opinion, this is what I have. This is what I like because this factory fuel pressure regulator is good up to two bar. Um, so I don't have to do anything extra to run boost. I just, I like it. It's simple. It works. And they have a 3 8 feed line, a 5 16 return line. I'm running dash 8 AM on both, I think. Maybe dash 6. I don't know. I may have misspoke. Um, but I have links in the description for the fittings that you need. There's some, there's two different types. There's like a quick connect type and you don't want those. They leak. They suck. I had them. They would not stop leaking. And then there's a thread on type like I have in the description. That's what I have on my truck. They do not leak. They do not suck. They are very good. And they're what I highly recommend for all these GM push type quick connects. So 3 8 feed, 5 16 return, your regulator's right here, your filter's wherever you want it, off in the ether under the car. Real simple, your Kemso pump in the tank, we've talked about those before, not the scope of this video though. And you're good to go. Whatever injectors you want, you're doing burnouts. The next one is becoming more common because they're newer. This is the 04 to 07 style. They are return less. And you can tell because they're metal for one thing. Um, and the other thing is they only have one line going into them and it's a three eighths line. They are all on drive by wire trucks. The earlier ones can be on drive by wire or drive by cable. These are all drive by wire trucks and in 04, everything was drive by wire period. This is where you get into the, the Corvette style regulator filter regulator that people talk about and they say you need, I've seen people try to use this filter regulator on this style and you can, you just plug the return line off if you want, but it's kind of silly. I don't see the point for it. Um, I've also seen people take these and put them on their firewall. So you run the feed and return all the way forward to your firewall and then run your return all the way back, which again, totally defeats the purpose. Um, if you're gonna run this style, if you have this style, there's nothing wrong with it. If you have this style and you wanna run this Corvette style filter, the same fittings are linked in the description. Right here, they show the plastic shitty ones. You don't want those. The Russell ones linked in the description will work on this, and they fit, and they will not burn your car down. You put this as close as possible to the fuel tank. You run a feed and a return to it, and it returns right back to the tank. Shouldn't be more than two feet long. It should be right there. And then out goes your fuel to make the boom boom and the burnouts and the fun times. The last style that is common and, and the thing that trips people up, if you insist that you have to go to the Trailblazer SS because it's worth 15 horsepower, um, you need the rails that go with it. They are different. And you can call it a Trailblazer SS. You can call it a new, new body style. You can call it a bread box, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't know what people call stuff. Um, but the every truck from 07 up, that's not a classic 07, has this style of intake. They're not particularly special anymore. Um, but when you buy them, be aware that you need the rails and the injectors with it. If you don't get the rails, if you go off half cocked and pay a hundred bucks for one of these and think, woohoo, you're gonna pay another hundred dollars for aftermarket rails. 
these other styles won't fit it. You can easily swap to a drive-by cable throttle body if that's what you want. Drive-by wire is better in every single way. But that's another video. Um, my dog just ran up the stairs. He's very loud. Peanut, what are you doing? Anyway, um, all the other stuff applies to that. This is the EVAP uh, purge solenoid. Just ignore that. You'd be taking it off in a swap. You run your Corvette regulator. You run a single line into this rail if you get everything, and boom goes the dynamite. I almost forgot before. Oh, I apologize because I forgot. Before we go here, I, I used to get random different fuel lines and fittings off of uh, Amazon, and the quality kind of varies wildly. I get most of this stuff nowadays off of shitboxsupply.com. Um, it's all imported. It's pretty good quality. They're not trying to get rich off of it. I, I like it. They have these filters for 30 bucks, for instance. Um, if you need hose and stuff, you, you can go, you can try to piece it together. You can try to follow the links. I, I've used the Sun Road stuff in the past. I have this filter on Daryl right now. Um, no, I didn't get any of my fittings from, but if you're like overwhelmed trying to find all this stuff, they have pretty much everything you need, including injectors, including check valves for the Bosch pumps, including wrenches. Um, they have everything you need in one spot. So they're not sponsoring me. They, they didn't give me anything for free, but if you're watching, I like free stuff. So send me some stuff. Shipbot supply. I mean, at least send me one of these cool raccoon shirts. Anyway, um, if you, if you want to know where to get your stuff, these guys have a pretty good reputation and, and they have reasonable prices for what they're, what they're doing. So hopefully that helps. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend. Happy Friday. Have a beer for me. We'll see you next time.